So if you're trying to solve an exponential equation where there's more than just the exponential expression on the one side, then you need to address that first. So if that's the case, you need to get the expression with the exponent to be by itself, to be the only thing on that one side of the equation. So if we look at some of the examples, like number 10, 3 times 2 to the w equals 24. We want this to be the only thing over there. So we need to move or remove that 3. So it's 3 times that. So we'll divide both sides by 3. And then we have 2 to the w. 24 divided by 3 is 8. This guy is gone. So then if you go up and reference that chart, find 2. 2 to what power is 8, 2 to the third. So w will equal 3. So similarly, number 11, negative 5 times 3 to the power of x equals negative 35. We'll divide both sides by that negative 5. Whenever it's right up against, there might not be that operation of multiplication. You just need to know it's multiplication. So divided by negative 5, get 3 to the x equals 27. Negative divided by negative is a positive. So then 3 to what power is 27? 3 to the third. So x will be an exponent of positive 3. So how about we go down and look at number 13, which doesn't even have a number. I do believe that it's supposed to equal negative 90. This has two things to get rid of, that negative 3 and that 6 to get the 2 to the w by itself. So we've got two things to take care of. So let's do that. So let's subtract the 6 because we usually do that before dividing. So subtract 6. So negative 3 times 2 to the w equals negative 96. And then we'll divide both sides by negative 3 to get him out of there. So we get 2 to the w equals negative divided by negative positive 32. So again, if you guys are referencing that chart, you'll find the value of 2 and go over until you get 232, and that's going to be the fifth. So w equals 5. So if the expression is not the only thing on that left-hand side, the exponential expression, you need to get that by itself. So for number 14, you guys would need to move the 11. For 12, you would need to move the 5. For 15, you need to move the 9. So you guys would divide, you would add, you would subtract for number 14. So why don't you guys go ahead and try 12, 14, and 15. Get that exponential expression by itself first, then you can solve for the exponent.